Hello and welcome back to another vlog. This is gonna be a weekend in my life vlog. I'm actually rushing out the door. I'm gonna go meet my friend Jenna and we're gonna go to the Winter Park Farmer's Market. And I think I've only been to it once. I quickly wanted to share my outfit. I have been loving this onesie from Set Active. I also have the pants version. I just love the way it fits. It's so easy to throw on with like a flannel or you can wear like a cropped crew neck over top, a cropped t-shirt. Like you can really make this into so many different outfits. So today I'm wearing it with a flannel because it is in the 60s today, but I thought it'd be perfect. This flannel is from Revolve. It's the Lovers and Friends brand, I think. And then I'm just wearing some Veja sneakers. And that's the fit. I'm gonna carry my Lululemon belt bag, but I just wanted to quickly start off the vlog, say hi, welcome you back to another video. I just finished filming a work week in my life last week and it will be up before this vlog. So definitely check out that vlog if you're interested in videos like that but yeah i'm gonna head out and meet jenna at the farmer's market and i'm going to vlog parts of that as well so <laughs> having straight hair I never straighten my hair but I just got home from the farmers market with Jenna it was so fun we're planning to go back and then we're also planning to go to the Lake Eola farmers market in the next couple of weeks as well so it's really fun I built like, my own bouquet of flowers there was like a little cart with all these little flowers and you can kind of build your own bouquet of flowers and I thought it turned out so cute. I just pulled them up on Instagram. This is the company. So she was there with a cart and she had so many different gorgeous flowers to choose from. So I built this. I'm gonna put it in this little vase and I think it'll be perfect because it's a pretty small bouquet and this is like a small little vase. So I'm gonna do that and then I went and picked up a Target pickup order. I needed more cleaning supplies, a new bath mat, and I finally got a new doormat. I have had the Merry Christmas doormat <laughs> out since Christmas and um, it's February 18th. So it was time, I needed a new one. So I finally got a new doormat for us and yeah. So I'm gonna put this in flowers, I'm gonna take two bags of clothes to Plato's closet, see how much I get, and then donate the rest of them because there's like a clothing drop box like right across the street from the Plato's closet. So I'm just gonna take the rest of the clothes there. And yeah, I just wanted to clean out my closet with like the change of seasons. Um, I just wanted to clean it out and get rid of some dresses that I've had and things that I've just had for like three or four years that I just don't wear anymore and they're in the back of my closet. So I got rid of some stuff like that and I did buy a couple new dresses for like the bridal shower that I have next weekend, the welcome dinners for the two weddings that I'm going to in March, two dresses for their weddings. So I just wanted to like clear stuff out since I did buy new stuff. So I just cleaned out my closet this past week and I'm gonna take those bags and do that but other than that not much else going on today i'm trying to like lay low this weekend because i just was sick last week and i don't want to get sick again with me going out of town next weekend and the following weekend and i just feel like recently i've been so go 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 that i just want to like lay low so i'm going to put these 
flowers in this is them so pretty in this little vase and then head to Plato's closet. Okay, here is what the arrangement looks like. It gets me so excited for spring. I think it looks so pretty. I love it. So I just put it here on the center island and I love it. I never buy fresh flowers, so it's always nice when I do. You guys, I'm so upset. I just filmed a whole first impression of me trying the Grande Pistachio Cream cold brew and my car mount. I don't know why my camera does this, but it's happened before when it like falls from like either the car mount or I have a mirror mount and it's fallen from before. Any clip that I've been like recording on it, I think just like the impact of my camera like hitting like the ground, like just automatically deletes the video. And I knew that was gonna happen because this just happened like a couple weeks ago when I was vlogging and I was vlogging like a whole clip of myself, like it attached to my mirror and I didn't realize it deleted it until I went to like upload the footage and I like filmed like a whole thing. So I just filmed myself trying this for the first time and I guess I'm gonna reshare my thoughts. It's good, I expected it to taste nuttier. I do taste like nutty and like sweetness and vanilla, which I think they add vanilla to it as well. It's funny because pistachios remind me of my childhood. We had a bunch of different jars on like this cutting board. Like we had a big cutting board in our kitchen and we had like a bunch of different jars of like there was candy, there was like tons of different things and then there was like pistachios in a jar and there was always a full jar of pistachios because my dad loved snacking on pistachios like literally every day and my mom always kept like a full jar of them in the kitchen so pistachios always remind me of my childhood because there was always a jar of pistachios in the kitchen and we used to just like always just snack on them and eat them and um, it's just so funny, like what reminds you of like certain things as a kid, but it also makes me want to try pistachios again because I haven't eaten pistachios in so long. So I almost want to try them and eat them and see if I pick up on that flavor in this because I don't think I do. It's just like nutty, if that makes sense. But it's really good, worth trying, honestly, if you're like not allergic to pistachios. Christian can't try this, unfortunately, because he's allergic to pistachios and cashews. But anyways, I'm just sitting waiting for my Plato's Closet stuff to be done. I'm just gonna sit in my car for a little bit, wait for my clothes to be done, drink my coffee, pick up my clothes, donate the clothes that I don't choose, then head back home. I just got home from picking my clothes back up from Plato's Closet. They actually ended up taking a decent amount of clothes, which I'm very happy about. I still ended up donating like a whole handful, but still they took a lot more than I thought, which is always nice. And I didn't end up waiting for the clothes to be done, which I'm happy about because it ended up taking three hours. So I'm glad that I didn't sit there and wait in my car for the clothes to be done. Anyways, I wanted to share the two perfumes that I picked out from Dossier this month. I have been working with Dossier the past few months and I've been loving it. I've been loving trying different perfumes. I feel like I'm on the perfume side of TikTok. I've shared so many different perfumes with you. I got a ton of perfumes in my advent calendar during the month of December. So I'm just like exploring so many different perfumes that I never would have purchased for myself just because they're so pricey. So what I love about Dossier is that you can get those high-end perfumes with a high price tag for a fraction of the cost and it gives you the opportunity to try so many different perfumes and still get the exact same scent as that high price tag perfume. So the two perfumes that I got this month are, this one is a perfume that I wore in high school. I actually just got a perfume from Sephora that was um, the Valentino Born in Roma and it reminds me of this perfume. So I picked it up, it's the YSL Black Opium. I wore this in college, it just smells so incredible. It's very much like a mysterious, 
dark feminine just like a sexy scent i really really love it it's one of my favorites i mean i'm sure you guys have heard of it it's a very popular perfume and it just smells really really yummy each one of their perfumes comes with one of these cards it has the notes at the top of what it smells like inside the bottle nine times out of ten i can guarantee that you can find that high-end perfume that you love at dossier so definitely check it out because they have so many different perfumes they have unisex perfumes men's women's things like that the packaging is very minimal each bottle basically looks like this it just has the name right there of their own name for it so it's not gonna have like the YSL black opium name but it's gonna have their name all of the bottles look basically identical with just a different name it has the nice magnetic cap I think it looks really nice sitting on a vanity so I got this one so this next one I love but the brand's perfumes are so expensive and I have the mini mini size one of this and I <laughs> haven't used all of it because I love it so much but this one is inspired by Tom Ford's Soleil Blanc literally the best smelling beachy perfume it it just like makes me want to take a tropical vacation. I just love this perfume. It's so beachy. It's just perfect. And I highly recommend if you're interested in purchasing one of the Tom Ford's perfumes that are very popular, I would check out Dossier because I know that Tom Ford just sells them for such a high price point. And you can literally get the exact same scent at Dossier for just one eighth the price. It's crazy. Um, but here are the notes of the perfume. I think it just smells so incredible but i just wanted to share the two perfumes that i picked out from dossier this month one thing i did want to mention is that dossier is actually at walmart so you can go into the store and take a peek at what um, perfumes are at the walmart store from dossier so i highly recommend it is only in the u.s that it is available at walmart so Definitely check it out if you're interested in going in store to smell the perfumes. They're available at Walmart. So just wanted to share. I am going to probably watch a YouTube video, maybe edit a YouTube video because I have a couple to edit and then probably heat up some leftovers. Yeah, I'm just gonna hang out on the couch. Okay, good morning. I got a green juice yesterday at the farmer's market with my friend Jenna and I didn't drink the whole thing. I drank like half of it so I could have the other half today and I think I'm gonna juice tonight so that way I have juices for tomorrow and Tuesday. But yeah, this one was really good. It has kale, apple, and pineapple in it. I've never tried juicing with pineapple, and I think it's such a nice little add. It tastes so good. I also love pineapple. I eat it every week on like yogurt bowls. I think it tastes... I'm gonna make a hot latte today. It's a little bit cold outside and I never make hot lattes. I usually do iced, but. I just made a grocery list. I'm gonna head to the grocery store soon. I am gonna make some chili today and I'm gonna double batch it. I usually do this every time I make chili. I have two crock pots and I always just double batch the chili and it just reheats really well. It's so easy for just a dinner. Like if you have no idea what you want and you don't want like chicken or salmon or whatever, like it's always just nice to have chili in the freezer so you can pull it out and have it thaw throughout the day and it's just really easy tastes just as good after it's been frozen so every couple of months i love prepping it and making it so today i'm gonna do it we haven't had it in a really long time a couple of months and i'm excited to start having it in the freezer again 
So I'm going to go and do that and then get a couple things for dinners this week and meal prep, of course, and certain things like that. So it's a pretty big list just because of the chili and I already pulled out like all of the spices and everything that I need and I'm about to pull out the crock pots. And I know it's kind of crazy to like double the recipe, but it just, I don't know, it creates so many different meals. So I have two crock pots. I'll link the chili recipe down below. I've been using this recipe for like a couple of years and it's just really simple, tastes really good. And yeah, like why change it up? Fix something that isn't broken, you know? So I'm gonna get my shoes on and head to the grocery store. Just got home a little bit ago. I put all of the spices in little containers already so it's easy that I can just pour it in after I finish doing the ground turkey and then I'm gonna cook it with bone broth I'm gonna start cooking the onion and the ground turkey and then combine everything to the crock pots and get to cooking them it's one o'clock so it will probably be done around 7:30. Just finished prepping everything and putting it in the crock pots and now it's set to cook I just cleaned up the kitchen as well I'm probably about to make some lunch because it's two o'clock and then um, finish up some laundry for the week and that's about it dinner and cleaning up and now I'm about to whiten my teeth and I'm using Crest white strips right now to whiten my teeth and I've been using turmeric for years. I haven't used Crest white strips in so long because they make my teeth so sensitive. So the reason why I've used turmeric to whiten my teeth is because every whitening strip by Crest has made my teeth so sensitive and I saw this TikTok of this girl and she has like the brightest, whitest teeth I've ever seen and she swears by Crest White Strips. She says it's better than getting your teeth professionally whitened, anything, so I wanted to give them a try again. And I think I've cracked the code on how to prevent your teeth from getting super sensitive when using Crest White Strips. And I also do want to say I tried out the Lumen. Lumino, I think is how you say it, whitening strips, and these don't make my teeth sensitive. The only thing is, is that they slip and slide around my teeth and they don't stay in one spot. So I feel like they don't do the best job at whitening your teeth. So I kind of, I haven't finished the whole box. And that's another thing that I learned is that you're supposed to finish the whole entire treatment of the box. So I'm on treatment number four, I think. So what I did to prep my teeth is I used Sensodyne toothpaste a couple days before I started to whiten my teeth 
and then I continue to use Sensodyne throughout the whitening process. This is not my regular toothpaste. I just got it specifically for me using Crest White Strips because it's supposed to help with sensitivity. And you're supposed to use the whole entire box. And whether that is like every day consistently if your teeth can handle it or like every other day. So I used two whitening strips for two nights and my teeth were pretty sensitive. So I skipped a night and then I did it last night and my teeth feel fine right now. Like I said, I've been continuously using this and I think like using it like a couple days before you start like helps like prep your teeth. It helps like build up that layer. So I've just been using the Sensodyne and I feel like so far it has really helped. My teeth still are like kind of sensitive but not as bad as I would say they've been in the past of using Crest White Strips. So that's what I've been doing. I got this off of Amazon. This is the level 23 whiter and it came with like bonus four treatments of like a one hour express and you leave this on for 45 minutes and yeah I'm gonna try and finish the whole kit so basically you're supposed to finish the whole kit and then you do it like one to two times a year after that to kind of like maintain the brightness so I'm gonna use one of these and um leave that on for 45 minutes i also wanted to share something else basically what i've been doing for like gua sha and i actually started doing body gua sha so a couple months ago i shared that i was doing gua sha in the shower and it has helped me stay so consistent with the gua sha after i get out of the shower or like as it gets later on in the night and it's time for bed i get lazy with it and i don't want to stand there and just like gua sha in my face it just sounds like a chore so i switched to doing it in the shower and i kept my gua sha in the shower and i recently changed to a stainless steel one and this makes such a difference with preventing breakouts sometimes the gua sha stone can like harvest bacteria and like hang on to bacteria no matter how you clean it i cleaned it with alcohol wipes and i still would get like breakouts all along here and up on my cheeks and on my forehead even on my neck from like going like this and the stainless steel one has been such a game changer it's known to not harvest any bacteria so i've been using this i got off amazon i'll link it and i also started body gua sha stoning so i got this this isn't like a real stone it's just plastic but it still helps and i've been doing my whole body there's tons of routines all over youtube so if you're interested definitely look it up i just followed a video the first few times and now i just i know exactly what to do so just wanted to share i'll link them down below this is obviously plastic they're really affordable and yeah just wanted to share what i've been doing and using and i've just been really liking doing it in the shower so i'm gonna end off this vlog here i'm gonna whiten my teeth and hang out on the couch for the night and then i'm gonna go pick up christian from the airport around like 10 o'clock he gets in from the bachelor trip that he was on this past weekend i also have work off tomorrow which will be so nice having like a three-day weekend i'm like so grateful for them I'm like dropping things all over the floor, but I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you're subscribed. Next weekend, I'm going to another bridal shower. So I'm going to be vlogging next weekend per usual. I don't think I've taken a weekend off of vlogging in over a year. So I will definitely be vlogging, but I hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure you're subscribed and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.